The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe me. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he, has, he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father." that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life, and I shall raise Him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is no question on what God can do, what God has done. That is what is being stipulated in the responsorial psalm. Whether you believe it or not, it is already written. But what is the challenge? What is the challenge? After the resurrection, there was a great commissioning that you go out and preach the gospel, baptizing people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus commissioned his disciples to preach repentance. And who are these people? We call them the church. But the first reading, the first reading, if you have listen to it carefully that the people from the temple is the is the one persecuting the church the people from or of the temple ano sinasabi lang nun? the church is not the temple it is the one who do the will of god you do the will of God because you believe in Jesus. As we have started this week, knowing that only Jesus, what makes us a church is Jesus. Without Jesus, the church is nothing. Your rituals, your prayers, your novenas, name it. The big difference between an apostolate and a social work is faith. The same action, the same action, feeding the poor, giving drink to the thirsty. Without Jesus, it is simply a social action, not an apostolate. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, but perhaps it's good to ask the question, what prevents you from believing in Jesus? What prevents you? Because you can never force anyone, expect anyone, demand from anyone, if you may, to do what is right if they do not believe in Jesus. A hired man can always do what is expected from him because of what he will receive. But a, but a person who believes in God will do things out of his love for God. 
hindi lahat ng gumagawa ng mabuti, as I have said, mabuti ang dahilan. Hindi lahat. At kung ano man ang dahilan, hindi nakaugat sa isang malinis na puso. Magandang pagtuunan ng pansin. Kaya nga palaging nag-aanyaya. We are always being invited to re-examine ourselves. It doesn't mean you are a part, you are a member. You are sure of it. You are sure of it. Magandang pagtuunan ng pansin yan. It is not the appellation that will bring us to heaven. It is our belief and that belief in Jesus being transformed in the way we live our lives. Amen. This coming Sunday, we will pray in a special way or we will include in our Mass the repose of the souls of all our departed brothers and sisters. We do it every fourth Sunday of the month. We don't simply remember them on their death anniversary or on their birthdays. Make it a habit to pray for the repose of the souls of your dearly departed every fourth Sunday of the Mass, of the month in our Masses. We remember them. We pray for them. Someone asked, or someone said, Father, malilibing yung tatay ko nang hindi malamang namisahan. Ano pa. If you are, I do not know the reason why, or maybe your parish cannot accommodate it. If you are in Metro Manila, and you want the remains of your beloved na mapamisahan, ano po, you can come to us. You can come to us. We will celebrate Mass for the dead for them <clears throat> in, the, in the church. Dalhin nyo, ano po, you can bring your urn, and we will celebrate the Eucharist with you. Going back to what I've said, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, without Jesus, the church is nothing. And this very table, or all altar tables, regardless of the size, ornaments, beauty, simplicity, it is where the bread turns into flesh, the wine turns into blood. But what makes us a church, a people, is not the rituals, but the love we have for God, the belief, and put them into practice. In my back, you call them tabernacle. Tabernacle. What makes that tabernacle different from the rest? It contains Jesus. It is not Jesus, but it contains Jesus. Without Jesus, it is simply a cabinet. A cabinet. Think of that. A building without Jesus is just a building. What makes us a church is what is in our hearts, what we believe, and how we live our lives. There's a big difference between social action and apostolate. Maybe the social action are more active than the apostolate. But without Jesus, everything that we do will simply mean a social action. Without the love for God, everything will be a simple kawang gawa. At the end, you know, St. John of the Cross have said, at the end, 
everything will be measured in love, not in the greatness of, of the things you have done, how much love you have given. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.